right here at the Machine Tool Technology Program at Capital Area Technical College. This, this program is located at the Baton Rouge campus. An amazing program and, and great demand right here, not only in our community, but in the nation. Uh, there's a shortage of machinists, and we're going to talk about that, uh, that shortage and how important this program is, and actually uh, how people in the community can get training as a machinist right here at the uh, Capital Area Technical College in Baton Rouge. So um, stay tuned because we're going to interview the instructor here, Mr. Ryan Young, so don't go away. Well, as I said earlier, I'm right here with Ryan Young, who is the instructor in the Machine Tool Technology Program. Ryan, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for having us, all of Baton Rouge, in your classroom here. Um, this is Machine Tool Technology. Mr. Young, tell us what exactly goes on here. What do you do in Machine Tool Technology? We teach students how to become machinists. How to become machinists. So what does a machinist do for those who don't know? That's a good question. A lot of people don't know. We take kids and we teach them how to do everything they need to know to become a machinist and that involves everything from reading blueprints to setting up the machines to making the parts to finishing the part and checking the part. And for the parts, um, what are the parts used for? Everything. Like factory machines, sure. like plants and things like that? Airplanes, tractors, everything. And you said you, you have old and young students, though. You have all ages? Absolutely. So now, if someone like myself don't, doesn't know anything about reading blueprints, uh, about any of these machinery, and if you look behind me, we have this, I don't know how much this machine costs. It's about a half a million dollars. About a half a million dollar machine behind me. If I don't know how to use any of this, have never even heard of a machinist, would I be successful in your class? Could I be successful? Sure, sure. We'll take you in and teach you how to do everything even if you can't read a tape measure. So you can teach them the, the basic uh, fundamental things all the way up. Um, a student that's interested in this program, what do they have to be good at? Or what do they have to, what has to be their gift or talent to Me be successful? Mechanically inclined, they have to like to work. Like to work and work with their hands? And with their hands. And Mr. Brinkley, who was the instructor here for how many years before? Long time, 30 for 20, years. 30 years, taught thousands of our machinists that are out in the Baton Rouge area and surrounding areas. He mentored you. And, uh, he, he would say that a lot of his students came from the, the plants and the factories. And he also said that the ones that came in from you know high schools or adults, they had to be good in like math. Is that true? Well, we can teach you how to do that. But it's like practical math. It's practical Not, math, right. And he said trigonometry. Sure. But there's an app for that. Oh, oh, so you don't have to really be, because I was going to say, I really, I really couldn't do this, because trigonometry is not. It's easy. So it's something that you already have things in place, so you sure. don't have to know trigonometry per se. But you got, what were the, uh, the, what were the skills again? You said you had to be mechanically inclined and what? And like to work with your hands. And like to work with your hands. Now, uh, what places can these students, once they uh, finish here, where can they go to work? Uh, there's machine shops uh, all over. And they can work with plants too, can't sure, they? Absolutely. Here, you know, there's a shortage of machinists sure. in the nation, so they get paid pretty good money. Is that correct? Yeah. Sure. Average salary. Average, average right now is about eighteen to twenty dollars an hour starting. Out. Starting out after being in this program, how long? Uh, a year and a half. So it's about an eighteen month program. And do they get jobs out of the program? Do you help them find jobs? Sure, sure. I get calls all the time. So students watching right now, Mr. Young is the instructor here, students, potential students, adults, ladies as well. If you're watching this and being a machinist is something you're interested in, they could actually call here and set up an appointment to meet with you and talk to you about sure. this uh, program. Sure. Now there are, I see about 30 different machines. We're just in front of this one. What is this called, by the way? It's a CNC. A CNC. So they have other ones in here. What are the other machines called here? The lathes and mills. So students come in here and they, you teach them hands-on how to work all these machines. Right. So they can go on the job and create parts and all that kind of good stuff. Um, in this program, are they required to take like like a university or like a community college? They'll take psychology and they'll take physical science and English and math. Do you require that uh, in this program? No, not at all. So it's hands on. Right, it's all hands on. They, do they take tests? Some tests. Written tests. Some tests. So tests and then also majority it's, hands on. It's mostly geared toward what you can do on the machine. And it's about 18 months. It can come in the evenings. Uh, uh, day class at night. And the tuition approximately $800 uh, a semester full time, which is a nominal fee for this type of program. And Mr. Brinkley, as I mentioned earlier, he was the instructor before you. He was telling me that there were students that came out of here making $100,000 a year. Absolutely, absolutely. After only 18 months of training. So the sky is the limit, really, in this program because the demand is so high. So what would you say to people out there that may be not sure what they want to do, but they are mechanically inclined? Come would you check say, it out. Come check it out. Come check it out. See if you like it. 
All right, so the program here is 18 months long, tuition $800 a semester. That's about 18 months to complete. You guys help them find jobs. Sure. And this is called Machine Tool Technology right here at the Baton Rouge campus. And we take students 18 and up, right? Sure. What about women? Will you train women to be a machinist? We haven't had any. Challenge now. He said they ha we haven't had any women uh, in, at least in the last 10 years. It's a challenge to you ladies out there. You're interested in machine tool technology. Come try it out. Hey, and if they come here and don't like it, they can transfer to, to another program. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have other programs here as well. Now, Ryan, will you show us uh, how to use one of these machines? Can you get demonstrate? Can sure. we do some? Great. So we can go do that now? Sure. Okay, don't go away. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sitting here we're waiting for Mr. Young to start up this, uh, what, what type of machine is this? Mill. This is a mill. I got my Ray-Bans on. This is required uh, Ray-Bans for the program. I have to wear this. Why am I wearing this, Mr. Young? Why am I wearing these glasses? Save the opportunity. Because of, you said the metal kind of flies around? Because it's grinding metal, so he's taking metal and, and shaving it down to make parts out of it, very pre precise, you know, lines and curves and stuff on the on the uh, metal. And so I need this because the uh, metal particles will be in the air. So this is definitely one of your supplies for your book sack as a machinist. So check it out and see what Mr. Ryan is doing. I'm going to get away because I don't want my hair to get stuck in there. that Mr. Young had on this machine. What's this machine called again? A mill. A mill. And the other one we stood in front of, the computerized one is a CNC. CNC. So this is a mill. If you notice behind all the other machines that are back here, grinders and lathes, and the students would actually learn what he just did. And this is the, the, the actual metal. And if you touch, it's all, it's so uh, finely precision. The points are really sharp. So they can do so many things on these machines to create parts for anything, right? Really? Okay. And so students can actually learn this from the ground level up. And that was really exciting. So you guys, um, if, it's, if this looks interesting, you come check out the program. Sure. Ask for Mr. Ryan Young. And I just want to thank you. And you, it's okay if I interview one of your students to talk about? Great. Okay, well, we'll don't go away. We'll be right back. I'm right here at Capillary Technical College, Baton Rouge Campus, in Machine Tool Technology Program with Christopher Gomez. Christopher is a student in this program. And you're also in the National Guard. You can tell he was a, he's a military guy. He's all buff and stuff. Well, he, he said he said his story is different while he came to school here. Um, will you tell us what brought you here to Capillary Technical College? Well, uh, I got back from my and I kind of been going down and trying to find jobs nowadays. And the National Guard will pay you to go to school. So, you know, collecting a paycheck, also learning something I'm interested in. That's awesome. And by the way, thank you for serving our country. Thank you very much. We love our military people here. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so for those of you out there, and now we were talking. You know, we're talking for those military people out there. A lot of people are coming back. The same. The situation is the same. You can't find jobs. You know, you can come here and learn this. You know, a skill where there's a high demand, lots of money you can make, and you get paid to come to school here with the GI Bill. Is that what it is, or the, or the national? There's a few different. Different ones. So people coming back, from veterans coming back from uh, active duty, there's money to pay you to go to school here and also learn skills and you're going to get a job as well. Well, so what do you think about the school and the program so far? Well, it's pretty legit. It's legit. Too legit to quit? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you guys, don't go away. We'll be right back.